All right, let's go across to Sohit now uh, for more. And Sohit, tell us more about you know the next couple of days on the Bharat Joro Yatra with it entering Maharashtra. Well, that's right. And uh, in fact, in some time, the Pada Yatra, the Bharat Joro Yatra in Maharashtra will begin. Uh, it will begin from the Gurudwara Yajari Baba Zorawari Singhji Pate Singh, uh, uh, which is uh, where it stopped last night. So remember that around. Uh, 10 10 o'clock the yatra began uh, in Maharashtra and it went till 12 o'clock. In fact, Rahul Gandhi was inside the Gurudwara till 1.30 after which now the yatra will resume uh, this morning. Now, in some time, in fact, what I can see in front of me is that huge crowd of people already on the street who are uh, raising a, a huge slogans as well as at the same time they are getting ready for the yatra and the yatra is expected to begin in some time. And uh, tomorrow, that is on 9th, uh, Aditya Thase is expected to come over here. Uh, and on 10th, uh, uh, NCP leader Sharad Pawar as well as several other NCP leaders will be coming here as well. So uh, this is what has been decided and this will also be a show of unity among the NBA leaders. That is what we can say as of now. And the Yatra is about to begin. All the preparations being done by the uh, police officials on the streets uh, in Nandir, where this yatra will be there for five days and in total for 14 days in Maharashtra. So in Nandir itself, Rahul Gandhi will be covering 104 <laughs> kilometers in these five days. And today is the second day when the yatra will resume in the next few minutes. That's right. And uh, to begin uh, from uh, that uh, Gurudwara there and uh, also, Soit, uh, you can, if you can tell us a bit about uh, the issues that Rahul Gandhi is raising. We saw him already talking about, you know, the cost of living rising. Uh, well, the issues that he's, he has been raising is continuously is the issue of, he says that this yatra is against hatred. He says that it's, this yatra is against unemployment, against the rising inflation. And at the same time, this yatra is to uh, increase the love and affection among the people and that is why they all are on the streets and that's why the Yatra is also called Bharat Judo Yatra where they want uh, to uh, join uh, uh, the hands with the people of India. This is what uh, Rahul Gandhi has been continuously saying and for which the Yatra is being organized. He has been speaking. In fact, yesterday he said that when I am in Maharashtra, I want to speak your issues. I want to speak the issues of the farmers. I want to speak the issues that you are facing on ground in Maharashtra. And that is what exactly I'll try to do. So these are the things that is being said by Rahul Gandhi. And these are the issues that he is trying to raise via uh, this uh, Bharat Jodo Yatra in Maharashtra. Now, viewers also need to remember that Congress is the fourth party in the state where it used to have its own chief minister since 2014. So how, may, how will this also impact for, for the, to them politically will be an important thing to see because that will also... Uh, uh, matter a lot, a lot of uh, all the impact and as well as MLAs of Maharashtra Congress are here. So this has also united them who had their own issues in the last few years. So this yatra in this way also seems to be very much helpful for the Congress party in Maharashtra. But only time will tell that will it benefit the party in the future in the state of Maharashtra, which is very important if we speak number wise, be the Lok Sabha or be the Maharashtra Assembly.